So the video you are about to see is um, gonna want to make you check your boy's fits. I'm gonna show you real quick how to do that. So you need gloves, okay? You want to pick up your guinea pig like this. You want to turn him over. Then this is the area. So what I do is I kind of work my way like this to get this little thing to come and say hi, okay? So that is how, okay, you can put it back now. You've been so good boy. That is how you can check. Because a lot of people go, I just don't know, there's so much skin there. And especially when they get a little older, there's a lot of looser skin and it can be hard to, to, to make it appear. But, you know, again, before he's gonna not really be happy with me, again, you just kinda wanna do this like that and there you go okay all right good luck with that and let's see the video hey red hi buddy wow look at this veins so cool you can really see how much veins are in a guinea pig's ear hey bud okay you he's a border and he's got, wait, come closer. Hi, down. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's okay. His weenie is kind of looking a little odd. Yeah. This is an Audi instead of an Innie, so we <laughs> got to fix that. But why is it like this? And it feels like there's a big blob. You know, no, you're not happy. I know. I'm sorry, but. I've got a donut feels... right there if that'll help. Maybe yeah, we'll fun. get a little donut. Okay, but I feel like a go. lot of it's like a lump, but it could just be smagma. So let me get ready. Let's put a little tissue hey, for me. Tissues. Hey, everybody. Got the... All right, but you got your little donut. You gonna let me take a peek? Oh, oh. not she. Oh, but. Okay, okay. It's pretty inflamed, huh? Yeah, it looks like it's infected. Woo! Yeah, oh, it's bleeding. Yeah, that's a very infected. Oh, yeah, it weenus. smells. Oh, buddy, buddy, buddy. I'm so sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's an infected weenie. Oh, so sorry, but I gotta just see. Let me just get some of this icky stuff off. Really yeah. not supposed to be this color. No. I'm being so gentle. Okay, so yeah, and he's so piggies are so tough and resilient, even when they're going through something that's like clearly really painful. I gotta clean it up, but I know I'm sorry. Yeah, he needs to see a doctor. He needs antibiotics. Yeah. Antibiotics. But certainly topical, like a triple antibiotic ointment. Yeah, we can use that for now. But I really kind of want to clean it. I wonder what's inside. Oh no, I'm so oh. sorry. Do you think he needs a bath? Oh, is that a rod? Or that's his prongs? Oh, this is. Oh yeah. Smagma. So. Whew. It definitely smells infected. These can be a lifesaver. I'm sorry, kid. I'm so gentle. I'm so ouchy. Yeah. So ouchy. Okay. Okay, baby. Okay, okay. Okay. You're okay, sweetheart. Now I'm going to put some of this. Let's see how. That's 
a lot, but I really want it to. So this is. It's just, just a, a generic. Generic antibiotic, and you're really putting it on there, huh? Yeah. Could you use the oily one instead, like just like a Neosporin if you had it? Or sure. The cream is probably more soothing. Yeah, it is soothing because this Thicker. has a pain relief uh, oh, yeah. to it. I like those a lot. Yeah. I'll try and just put it back the way it's supposed to a little bit. So now it's got all that good cream in there. Yeah. It already looks a little better yeah. from the outside than when we started. Look, he feels a little better. He's all relaxed now. Good boy. So, yeah, he needs to see the doctor. So, uh. this is why you gotta check your boys, because he, this is very painful. Yeah. And it does happen when they get those weenie infections. Now, just in general, how often would you recommend just checking? Well,. For a normal pig that doesn't have issues, we just, you know, you can do like every six weeks. Yeah, but it's not that but difficult to just... But when they get older, it's a good thing to, you know, do it a little more because... It takes, takes when five they, seconds. Yeah, and just, when they get older, all that, that skin loosens and just, you know, is not as tight anymore and they can also cause problems where they get kind of, you know, the infection in the perineal and... sac which is inside of there yeah. and I'm not wearing my gloves now so I'm not gonna touch that but um, but when you're just holding your pig just flip them over and pop it out yeah, for a second just and just do it like that and then you can just see if there's anything there his feet or... look good though yeah not swollen or anything he's got a it's good weight well we're gonna let your owner know he's here for boarding and yeah. then we're gonna see if we can get get you to a doctor. Yeah. Good boy. So handsome. That's red. All right. That's it, Saskia. Yeah, that's okay. it. Thank you. Thank you for sharing and for pointing that out. Hi, buddy. Let's see. Two days. He's been here two days. We've been doing this treatment for two days now. And uh, I actually just got this little rod out. I had a peek earlier, but let's. Oh, come on. It's okay. It's okay. Just have a quick, quickie peek. Wow, this looks so much better than it was. Oof. So much better, buddy. So, this is definitely giving him a lot of relief, and it's. Make the swelling go down, the infection go away. So we're just gonna continue this for a little while. Okay, you can put it back now. Yeah. So I'm really happy with the two day progress. Really good. My hands are all slippery. There, good boy. Good boy. Much happier.